Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, we're looking at Philippians 2, verses 5 through 7. You know, humility is hard. I mean, we all want humility, but we really don't want to be humbled. Uh, and yet God challenges us to humble ourselves so that he can lift us up, so that he can exalt us, literally the words used. And not only does he teach it, but he lived it. Philippians chapter 2, talking about Jesus, says, Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. Now, the passage goes on and talks about his crucifixion and his exaltation uh, at the name of Jesus. But I just want you to pause for a moment and realize that Jesus gave up his glory, his power, and his position willingly in order to save us. He did it all willingly. It's all humility. The king became a servant. He didn't hold on to his glory. You know, he, he didn't consider equality with God a thing to be grasped, to be held on to. But he, so he didn't cling to his power. He relinquished his position as the eternal co-creator of uh, the universe and was born as a helpless baby. And he did all that so he could be a servant. And we are told to have the same attitude, the same mind as Jesus Christ, the same attitude about serving. So let me just ask, how is your attitude about serving? Now, that's a question you and the Holy Spirit will have to wrestle with, but how comfortable are you with letting go of power? Uh, and when I say that, uh, if you're like, oh, I don't, I don't have any problem with it, really, do you have to control everything? Because being a control freak means that we're afraid to let go of the power that we have that we think is going to control the situation. You see, this is the battle that Jesus faced and won for us, for me and you. Because if he had not uh, relinquished his power, we wouldn't be saved. And this is the battle that you and I face. The battle that God calls us to humility, even though we're filled with pride and we don't want to let go of what we have. So I would just close in, in reminding you of this. Scripture tells us repeatedly that God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble and encourages us, therefore, to humble ourselves under God's mighty hand that he may lift us up, that he may exalt us in due time, in God's time. I hope that encourages you and blesses you. Have a great day.